Hi everyone, I'm back. Today I decided to do a little tutorial video. Uh, the reason why I decided to do this is I was making uh, some cards for my family and I make the same card for everyone for all the holidays and as you know Valentine's Day is coming up so I wanted to do um, some, obviously some Valentine cards. I have a little production line going on when I make cards for my family. I'm, you know, I got the cricket going in the background. I'm stamping off on one side, you know, whatever. Um, and I thought, oh, I can make a little tutorial video with all the little bits and pieces, and I can do it in stages. So I wanted to try my hand at a tutorial because I've said that I wanted to do them. Um, this is what I made. I'm just gonna. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's late and I'm giddy. Um, I'm just going to mail this to them. This is it. In an envelope. I'm going to put this <laughs> inside of an envelope. <laughs> and I'm going to mail it out. What do you think? Do you think that's a good idea? Oh, I'm just kidding. I'm teasing. It's late and I thought it would be funny. And maybe it was funnier in my head, as most things are. So, no, I did make this. Um, it's just a piece of <laughs> of the card that I made. So, I'm sorry, I just had to do that. <clears throat> You're going to get a sense of my personality. So, real quickly. <laughs> um, in another one of my videos, I pointed out that I had just gotten this paper stack from Michael's. Um, because I didn't have any Valentine card or Valentine card stock. Yes, I was right. So I picked that up um, to make my cards. So when I started, I had gotten a bunch of these envelopes. They're the smaller size envelopes. I can't even think of what size they are. Five by six, something like that. Um, so they're smaller cards or uh, envelopes. So I wanted to make sure that the card that I made fit inside this envelope. I've also been mailing a lot of large cards out, which have been ugh, costing me a fortune to send out. So I wanted to make a very simple Valentine card and a very traditional Valentine card, you know, with the reds and the pink color. So that's what I did. So I started with the envelope. Well, actually, no, I started with the paper and then the envelope. <clears throat> I um, cut up or I picked out a couple um, sheets of paper that I liked. Um, this is what I decided to go with because again it was very traditional pinks and reds. Two-sided paper. Um, what I did, I don't measure anything. Um, I just kind of go with what looks right. <laughs> So I can't quite tell you um, what size, well I could tell you what size these are I guess. Um, when I when I did it I just actually cut the 12 by 12 in fourths. Um, so obviously making 6 by 6 sheets. Or 4 6 by 6 sheets. <clears throat> and then I cut an inch off ish. So that's about 5 and 5 by 6. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> and then this is cut I believe 5 and a quarter or so by four inches. Just enough. Actually, all I did was I um, tr I just made it fit the envelope. Again, I don't like to measure anything. I like to just eyeball it or hold it up to what I want it to fit on. So, picked out the paper. And then what I did was I took the base um, and I folded it in half. And then I folded it in half again. And this is that, um, oh, what is it called? I can't remember what it's called, um, but I'm making one of those cards that stand up like this because I just thought they were fun. Again, kind of an old school um, kind of card trick. Okay, so this is what it ended up looking like once I glued that um, little small flap onto the front. Okay, so that's what I did there. And then I cut out these strips of paper. I'm not sure what size they are. I just knew that um, I wanted one that was bigger and one that was smaller so that it would go over the top. That's how I do things. Oh, yeah. I'm very technical. <laughs> and then I glued that onto the front of the card, like so. Okay. 
And then I wanted to put a little um, embellishment, a paper embellishment here. And I wanted to cut it out with a uh, Cricut cartridge. So I found my Doodle Charms Cricut cartridge <clears throat> and cut out the heart shape that you see there. Or can kind of see because it's blurry. So anyway, I, I cut that out and I made two. Well, actually, yeah, I actually made 12. I made six of um, the cream colored and six of the pink. So that equals 12. See? I might not measure, but I am good at math. <laughs> and then I glued that together like so. Look at this. See? I had everything ready to go. It was great. I'm like, I might as well make a, a video because so everything's ready to go. And then I needed a stamp. I needed something to say Happy Valentine's Day or something like it. And I found this in my stash. Surprisingly, I didn't think I had any Valentine's stamps. So this is um, Sizzix Clear Stamps. I got these a while ago. <laughs> and I wanted to use this Be My Valentine. So I did. See? Neat, huh? Yes. So I stamped that on. And then I took one of my handy dandy... Let me get this out of, out of there. My handy dandy puffy um, pop dots. These are homemade, which if you want to know how I made them, just comment and I will tell you. And I put that on the front cover. Doesn't that look neat? Oh, it's so cute. See, I had fun with it. Anyway, um, but I needed something for it um, to stand up. So when they when they open up the card, how is it going to stand up? A lot of people use brads or some type of embellishment. Wait till you see what I used. You will be amazed. I used this. <laughs> oh, and we're back to the beginning. And I put a little, uh, another handmade pop dot on there. And I glued that into the inside. And that's where I came with, here, all done. Look at that. I made that so quickly, like you didn't even see how fast I did that. Right? Oh. <clears throat> so this is how it's actually standing up. Very simple, easy to do, easy to mass produce. So if you're making a lot of cards, this is something that you can do. Um, my daughter also helped out. My daughter is younger. Um, she'll be turning seven. Uh, so it was easy for her to help out with it as well. And I figured, you know, when they get it, I liked that it said love down here. Because whenever, obviously, whenever you sign a card for your family, you write love, so and so and so and so and so and so. Um, so be my Valentine, love, and then I'm going to put my kid's name and our names on it. So that's my card. Um, a couple things I wanted to share. Oh, I didn't tell you the color because I know a lot of people do that when they stamp something. I used um, Ranger Cranberry as my color. as a very old stamp pad. So I forgot to share that. Um, I think that was it. 